Hi everybody, I'm Seth and I'm coming to you from the middle of nowhere. And today we're going to be talking about Creative Sound Blasters X7. This is a 100 watt amp, a DAC, and a headphone amp all rolled into the one. You can connect this to your PC or laptop, your favorite gaming console, a TV, or an existing piece of audio equipment such as an AV receiver. Coming in at just 5 inches high, 6 inches wide, and about 5 inches deep, this thing doesn't have a huge footprint. It's rather light, but it will take a good push or yank by a headphone cord to get it to move. On the front, we have the power button that you can also hold in to pair your Bluetooth-enabled device. Top, we have a generally, generously sized volume knob. You can also push it in to mute it, and if you do mute, the power button will then blink on and off. So then it's a nice audio click too. In the middle, we have a Dolby Digital indicator. This will glow white if you have Dolby Digital enabled, which can only be enabled, unfortunately, through the SPDIF connection on the back. You can't do it via uh, USB. On the right, we have the SBX button. Turn it off, on and off. It will glow white when on. Then we have two headphone jacks, one 3.5 millimeter and one 6.3 millimeter. So this way, two people can listen to the same thing at the same time. Then we have a microphone jack that's also 3.5 millimeters. We also have Creative's beamforming mic right here, so you don't necessarily have to uh, plug in an external jack. On the side, we have a USB cord, so you can hook up your device to charge your device, as well as stream music to the X7. On this side, we have the NFC module. That way, any NFC-enabled devices can pair up with the X7 as well. On the back, we have our DC out, a USB port, our aforementioned SPDIF optical in and out ports, the line in right and left port, the line in for center and sub, or line out rather, line out for rear, line out for right and left. This is what I connect my 2.1 setup with. I have an Alltech Lansing 2.1 uh, speaker setup and I connect via Y splitter. Then we have four terminals for passive speakers and the ohm impedance switch for, oh, uh, so you can switch from four to eight ohms. On the bottom, we have our op amps or operational amps. These are swappable. You swap them out by pairs. All you gotta do is open up the hatch Take them out very, 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 very carefully, and then switch them out with your favorite amps. Uh, I've included in the description of the video below a link from Creative on how to do that. The software can be downloaded directly from Creative's website or through the Apple or Android store. The X7 split up into software is split up into several tabs. While the software is easy to navigate and there is a nice setup wizard to get you going, a lot of the contextual information isn't that great. And I wish there was more of a guide on how to really set up the X7 to have a better all-around experience. With the app, I found that all I had to do was pair my device to the X7 itself, which didn't take very long, and then I was up and going. What gr one great thing about the software so far is that it has been improving over the course of the year, both firmware and software itself. Creative has been listening to its customers, and that's always a good thing to hear. How's my experience been with the X7? It's been a really good one. Installation was a breeze, and the X7 definitely improves my speaker listening compared to my when I'm plugging in my speakers to my motherboard, which is the Asus Deluxe Dual C87 chipset. And it has quality audio uh, components as well, but I feel the X7 does a better job of amping my speakers. As for the headphone listening, my daily drivers are these guys here. These are Think Sounds on one on ear headphones. And again, listening experience has been improved. Uh, the lows, mids, highs, all clear as day. Now these are very even sounding headphones. They're not bass heavy like your Beats by Dre, and they're not, you know, thousand dollar headphones like the Audis, but they are very good studio monitors. And the X7 again has been able to power them and it sounds a lot better than just when I'm plugging in directly to my computer or if I'm just using my iPhone. For gaming the sound is good, but the virtual sound, it's not that great. While you could definitely hear a shift of sound from speaker to speaker, I felt it was more of a just all shift rather than kind of a subtle you know, I hear the rear speakers kind of hitting off, right and sound, left going. And maybe that's either, a, you know, my headphones or it's just because of SBX. I don't know. I feel that on my Rocat 5.1 headphones that the surround sound is definitely better. But then again, I am dealing with multiple drivers and not a virtual sound. 
This isn't to say that my gaming and listening experience was bad altogether. The sounds were, again, clear as with everything else, and they didn't sound mechanical or fake, and overall it was enjoyable. When it came to voice chat, this has been an issue. The beamforming mic made me sound very distant according to others when I was using Ventrilo or TeamSpeak, so it was very hard to hear. When it came to taking Bluetooth phone calls, I feel that Bluetooth on a whole is just not a good experience. Even with my Rocat headphones, calls always come in grainy, uh, there's a lot of distortion, like you're talking to a bad drive through speaker box, and while it's convenient, which I'll take any day, because I work from home a lot and have a lot of meetings, um, it, the quality is just not there. For all this information about the X7, does it improve our listening experience? I would say yes. Has it bridged the gap between audiophiles and gamers? Maybe. Depends. I don't know. Why? Because everyone's taste varies. You might be an audio snob. I don't know, because I don't know you. Me? I like what I hear. There are songs that I fall in love with, and I want to be able to hear them clearly, and the X7 does that. If you already own an X7, let me know what you think about it. If you have, a have had a chance to compare the X7 to other DAC amp setups, let me know. Put, put some stuff in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this has not been a train wreck of a video. This is my first one. So we'll see you from the middle of nowhere, all right? And uh, keep on keeping on.